Hey guys, for science today, we're reading Moon Rooster. Moon Rooster. The youngest rooster on the hill couldn't sleep. He was an insomniac. That means he couldn't sleep. He stayed awake at night thinking. It's too dark, he thought. All the roosters bring up the sun, but not one brings up the moon. Poor moon. If I can bring up the moon, it will light up the night. The rooster knew what he had to do. Cock-a-doodle-doo, he crowed. Ed is dreaming fast dreams. Ned is dreaming romantic dreams. N moon rooster, he's just got dreams? Fred over here is doing big dreams. The moon did not rise. Mr. Rooster didn't, get, didn't give up. He slept all day long and crowed at night. Cock-a-doodle-doo! And lo and behold, with one more cock-a-doodle-doo, the moon! A peaceful sky. Cock-a-doodle-doo! Cock-a-doodle-doo! So what do this illustration show? Well, in this picture, it's showing that he's cock-a-doodle-doing for the moon, all right? But if we back over here, each rooster is dreaming a dream. Ed is dreaming fast dreams, Ned is dreaming romantic dreams, and Moon Rooster isn't dreaming at all. Whereas Fred is dreaming big dreams. So what is over Moon Rooster's head? There's nothing over there. He's not dreaming, is he? Why isn't he dreaming? He's still awake. Everybody else is sleeping, but he's still awake. What does the rooster have to do to bring up the moon? What's he doing? He's cock-a-doodling. Good. So the next night and every night after that, the rooster crowed again, louder, cock-a-doodle-doo, and the moon rose again, even bigger and brighter than before. Cock-a-doodle-doo, he told the hens. See what I can doodle-do? I can bring up the moon. With one eye open, the big red hen watched the moon rise. My, my, she said, what you can do. He was very proud. So what does the rooster think he can doodle do? He thinks he can bring up the moon, doesn't he? And what do the hens say to the rooster? Look what you can do. So what do they compare the moon to? Hmm, well, let's read and see. Moon Rooster's chest puffed out and his crown stuck up so bold and red that he was truly king of the hill. The brown and white and spotted hens gathered around. Cluck, cluck, they clucked. What a voice, what a moon. It looks like a freshly laid egg. So what did they compare the moon to? A laid egg, a fresh laid egg. Good job. Now, how did Moon Rooster feel about himself after using his voice to bring up the moon? He was very what? He was very proud of himself. Good. Moon Rooster crowed early, cock-a-doodle-doo. Crowed late, cock-a-doodle-doo. Crowed all night long, cock-a-doodle-doo. He had a job to do and he did it proudly and loudly. Cock-a-doodle-doo! Now, if we're looking at this, what do you notice? Look at the cock-a-doodle-doos. They're getting bigger and louder. Good. Why do you think the author does this? 
Hmm. Why do you think the author does that? Maybe to get our attention? Maybe. People on the hillside appreciated Moon Rooster's hard work. When he crowed with all of his heart, they showed their appreciation. They threw gifts his way. The other roosters were amazed. No one ever threw gifts at them. Shoes, all sizes, big and small, pots and pans, flat and deep, clocks, tick-tocking and click-clacking, balls, and even a bat or two. We can't sleep. Keep quiet. Shush. So why do you think they're throwing at him? They want him to be quiet, don't they? For some reason, no one threw food. Moon Rooster would have liked a handful of corn kernels. No self-respecting rooster pecked at a rubber ball. Birds didn't eat leather or metal either. And the clocks were just silly. The tick-tocking clock crowed long after the sun came up and the click-clacking clock didn't crow at all. It chirped. A chirping clock didn't rouse a cricket, let alone the sun and the moon. Being a well-bred fowl, Moon Rooster crowed cock-a-doodle-doo, thanking the folks for their gifts, silly or not. So over here, Ed, no one ever threw me a gift. Bossy red hen, she's sitting in a pan. You've got Fred inside a shoe on top of a clock. You've got Ned sitting in a lady's boot. May and Kay and Faye sitting in a pot. And Moon Rooster up here, he's very grateful for all the gifts. Now the Moon Rooster refers to himself as a self-respecting rooster. Who does self refer to? It means refers to you. Good. Do you know what respect means? Respect shows uh, kindness towards others. That mean you understand why they do the things they do. You show them respect for it. All right. Then one night, lo and behold, the cockadoodle doo moon lit up the whole hillside, a full moon, big and round. It made the sea turn silver. It made cactus flowers bloom. It made a band play nonstop, and it made people sing and dance till dawn. You've got a full moon, big and round. Come take my hand. Merry dances. But when the soon roost when the sun roosters crowed and the sun chased the full moon away, one of the party people said, now that it's morning, no sense in going to bed, but we'll get a good night's sleep tonight if we can get rid of that pesty rooster. The others agreed, yes, let's catch that rooster right now and took him with onions. Yes, and let's make chicken soup. Polly, run home and put the kettle on. A crowd of people charged up the hill, waving pots and pans over their heads, shouting chicken soup. No one threw gifts to Moon Rooster. Instead, the people chased him. Why? They wanted to make chicken soup. Moon Rooster didn't care for that dish, so he made getaway plans. Yikes! Rooster soup, yum! Get that rooster! And it says, he's scared. Moon Rooster flew up into the nearest tree and he hid. He hid until the people went away to eat, to work, or to do what people do. He hid until the sun slid out of the sky and sank deep into the sea. High up in the tree, he whispered to himself, cock-a-doodle-doo, good night, son, cock-a-doodle-doo, good night, people. Moon Rooster was worried and scared for a whole week. He did not know what to do. Nearly losing his life had frightened him so much he nearly lost his voice. He couldn't crow. He croaked. Meanwhile, the, mo the moon got smaller and smaller, and then it disappeared. The night was dark and quiet, but Moon Rooster couldn't sleep. He stayed awake thinking. Poor moon, he thought. It can't come up if I don't crow, or who will make the moon rise and shine? Oh, no. Look what he's thinking. A touch of salt. Yum, yum. He's thinking about chicken soup. Here's Ned and Fred and Ed. And there's Moon Rooster and he says, I'm afraid. The other roosters called to him. Hello up there, Moon Rooster. Why aren't you doing what you used to do? Doodle do. And he croaked, I can't. Why not? I need help, he admitted. 
where is the moon? Now, admit means to confess to be true. How does the rooster change since the beginning of the story? Now think about this. At the beginning of the story, he was proud and loud and boasting and bragging about what he could do, but now he's scared and he's asking for help. Do you think his friends are gonna help him? Hmm. Moon Rooster is brave. Ed, Fred, and Ned and a crescent moon. At that, the other roosters stiffened their tails, puffed out their chest, and thought they were still tired from their day job. They helped Moon Rooster bring up the moon. Cock-a-doodle-doo, 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 cock-a-doodle-doo. Up from behind the mountains rose the moon, a thin, thin sliver of light. With the other roosters at his side, Moon Rooster grew more courageous and his voice grew stronger. The next night, he crowed once, twice, three times, and he didn't stop. Oh no, he had a job to do and he had to bring up the moon. Now, why does it say Moon Rooster is brave? Why is he brave for? He's cock-a-doodle-dooling again, isn't he? Yeah, his friends helped him. Moon rise again, so he had a job to do, so he did it. What about those dark and quiet nights each month? Well, Moon Rooster and his friends do such a good job, sometimes they deserve a rest, and so does the moon. So the Moon Rooster dreams, and look what he's dreaming. He's dreaming he's playing a guitar. And Ned is sleeping and Fred is sleeping. And what about those sleepy people on the hill? Well, a few are still hungry for chicken soup, but most use earplugs. Besides, they know what if they catch one noisy rooster, another noisy rooster will take his place. Why? Because someone has to bring up the moon. And if it's not for a noisy rooster, who will cock-a-doodle do it? So what does the illustrator show Moon Rooster doing in his dream? Playing a guitar. What about those dark and quiet nights each month? According to this book, it says that they all are resting. Now, why is it that we always can't see the moon? What's it doing? It's going through phases. Remember, the moon changes each night, either growing bigger, and then once it gets to its full moon size, it starts going smaller again, and then it's dark again. So that's why we don't see it a lot. Good. And then we have a little song at the back. It says, every night I crow and crow, I make the moon rise up and go. Cock-a-doodle-doo, cock-a-doodle-doo. Up comes the moon for me and you. Bring up the moon with a cock-a-doodle-doo. Everybody knows what I can do. Flap my wings, puff out my chest, crow to the east, crow to the west. Up comes the moon, shiny bright. Let's help the moon stay up all night. Flap your wings and cock-a-doodle-doo. You can crow the way I do. Cock-a-doodle-doo, cock-a-doodle-doo, doodle-doo, cock-a-doodle-doo. The end. All right, so now what your job is going to do is using the evidence from this story, Moon Rooster, I want you to tell me why does Rooster think he his crowing brings up the moon? So why does Moon Rooster think his crowing can bring up the moon? So answer that question, all right? And then make sure that you turn it in for me, okay? And I will see you tomorrow with another story. Bye.